What's up, guys? My name is George, and welcome to this third episode of Career Mode with Porto in FIFA 18. So, in the last episode, we had an amazing match against Benfica. So, basically, we are already played the best match in the Liga NOS. Um, the other matches I'm looking forward to is against um, Braga and Sporting Lisboa. But basically, um, you know, we already played uh, the best uh, in the league. So, but that was pretty sick, guys. Honestly, 10 goals in that match was just crazy. So, we're going to jump in, into this third episode. And um, for some reason, when I, was when I was playing, I still thought that the transfer window was open. And we actually um, got an offer for Brahimi. And I ended up selling him. Um, obviously, we're st we, we still have him in the team, but... Um, Bottom line is that he's going to leave in the winter transfer window. So, um, yeah, I sold Brahimi. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but honestly, like, I thought that the window was still open. And um, I don't know. I, I just kind of had like a brain fart there. So um, so here it is. So we're meeting up with the agent. And the thing is that um, Brahimi is a really good player. But having the chance to get someone like maybe like Di Maria from PSG, which is a player that I was looking at, and also um, a player from Man Manchester City. Um, I think Lero Sané is his name. Um, he's a beast, so I thought that maybe I could get a player like that and sell Brahimi. So we um, we made a deal here with Pep Guardiola, so we sold Brahimi for around 35 million, 33 or 35 million, and I think that's not a bad, um, that's not a bad amount of money. Um, I think Brahimi uh, is definitely worth that. It, it could have been even a little bit more, but at the end of the day, I think that was uh, that we got a pretty good amount of money for him. Um, but, but like I said, he, he's not going to leave yet. He will leave in the winter window, transfer window, and um, that's where I'm going to have to be on my best um, uh, scouting mode, I guess, if you want to call it that way, because I need to get a really good player um, to fill that position. So it could be Di Maria. I was also looking at Lucas from PSG. Both players are from, are from PSG. Leroy Sané, really good young player, but he is on loan. I believe with Real Sociedad in the Liga, La Liga of Spain, which is kind of weird that he would go on loan since, you know, he's, uh, he's already a pretty good player and he's very expensive now. So I'm not sure why he would go out on loan. Usually players like that do not do that. But anyways, I... I really want to get a player like Di Maria or Lucas because, um, I mean, if you relate it to the real world, they're not really playing that much right now. I mean, how are you going to play uh, uh, even starter um, with with um, Cavani up there and Neymar and uh, Mbappé? So you can't, you know, they don't have a chance to, to start at least for, um, for, for big games. So, but we're going to play the first game here um, of this episode, and it's a short one. Uh, I think the video is like 16 15 minutes um and um because you know not a lot of, not a lot of things went on uh but in the matches um it was kind of uh these three matches that i played they were uh, just a little bit uh i don't want to say boring but it was really tough to you know break the the opponent's defense and so i had a kind of a hard time doing that uh but we're here in the first match and we are starting um um, here and uh, I think this match ended up being a well, I don't want to tell you guys, you guys should find out in a second. But we're gonna have this nice chance right here with Abubakar. Really nice shot. The goalkeeper makes an amazing save, and then we get another shot here. And I have no idea how the goalkeeper got that. I should have scored, it was two good chances. The second one was even better. And uh, damn, the goalkeeper, honestly, right now, he was, like, looking like Superman, uh, getting everything. And he has another save um, before this header here. Uh, and so, yeah, he, he had he basically had three saves there. Not too bad for, you know, for him starting out in this game. We get another chance here. What a shot that was. Goes straight to the post, top bar. Cannot believe it again. We were so close to scoring, but we could not do it. 31 minutes. I was getting a little bit frustrated because of all these chances. But our man Suarez gets this one into the back of the net. Very good finish. I like that he, you know, he's not that fast, but with his strength, he can push players away. He can, um, he, he can uh, keep the ball longer than you know other players that you know that are less 
uh, physical um, and strength. And so he's able to put this one inside of the goal, and we make it a 1-0 game. And I, like I said, I was getting a bit frustrated because I had all these nice chances, but I was not able to score. And so I was glad that Suarez was um, able to get this one in there. And goalkeeper um, was never going to get this one. I mean, he didn't really stretch that much. So <clears throat> so we get this uh, war, the first goal of the match. We already won in 1-0. And we have to... Um, be careful in the league because in terms of uh, when we're playing these games um, some teams I think I've mentioned this before they're not great but at any moment you make a mistake and they can score and this is a perfect example right here don't know what my defender was thinking why would you just touch do this you know basically hit the ball that way and they come and score make it a 1-1 game I feel like that was a fail in the defense very disappointed that that happened we come here in the 66th minute and seriously this goalkeeper was on a roll he was like on the performance of his life getting that badass save but Casillas was not gonna stand down and he was also gonna make this really nice save he comes out and just um, make sh sure that the guy, that the opponent does not score that. We get this last chance right there, as you saw, but the ball just goes out wide, and we're going to finish the match with a 1-1. So look at that, 18 shots to 7, but shots on target, 4-4. Four, four. So what does that tell you? That my accuracy today was horrible. Yes, I did have a bunch of chances, but... It doesn't really matter because they had four, they had seven shots in total at um, 18, but we both had four, and you know we both got one goal, and that was it. You know, um, very disappointed for that match. I should have won that one, um, but you know sometimes that just happens, and you can't do anything about it. So we're gonna get ready for the second match of the episode, and this is going to be in the Champions League. So. Or, the, or how FIFA calls it, the Champions Cup. Really bad. I wish they had the licensing like PES does. But, you know, we can't have everything, I guess. But um, we're starting the first match of the Champions League. And this is the road to the to the final. Yes, I really want to get to the final. I know it's going to be really hard. But I'm pretty sure that we can get out of this group since we don't have... Um, since we have Basel in there, we're going to play against Hoffenheim. And then just the big, the hardest team in this group is going to be Juventus and I am um, and if we can get a draw at home or something and maybe lose over there um, then I'll be fine with that because I'm pretty sure that I can beat Basel and Hoffenheim so I was really stoked to play this first match but we're going to make a few changes because we've been playing with um, with our starting team in the in the league so we have to make a couple of changes some players um, you know they they are a little bit on the low side for the fatigue for fitness so we have to you know switch it up and there's some players that i haven't really used that um that i should be using and that i will start using because you know playing in the champions league and the league it's gonna it's gonna take a toll on the on my starting team for their fitness so i have to keep it moving have to keep it fresh um for you know for these matches and also not to mention that we are gonna play the champions not the champions sorry we are already in the champions the um the portuguese cup i think it's called the taca of Portugal so that is the, the domestic cup so we're gonna start the match here with this really nice shot I thought for a second that I had missed this one and I was already starting to rage but no the goalkeeper made a great save so I mean it's still you know I wish I still had a score that but um, at least I know that the goalkeeper made a save on that and we're gonna get the first goal of the match so we start out the Champions League with a Kind of a weird goal if you want to call it that way because um, the header was just uh, it was just a weird goal but I, I didn't care like honestly I didn't care um, we got the goal and um, it was like a nice little chip in there heads it over the goalkeeper and it just uh, it just goes in so <laughs> but I think that was pretty nice the way he jumps and um, Hoffenheim's goalkeeper wasn't able to reach that so 1-0 I was very um, I was very glad that we scored that first goal in the Champions League. Casillas makes a nice save right here. The ball basically goes to his hands and 
he's able to put this one out of um, out of his goal we come back here with a, a header and the Hoffenheim's defender almost put this puts this one in his own net which would have been pretty nice for us but uh, did not happen uh, but Hoffenheim are gonna come and try to score that equalizer but Casillas look at that 77 minutes into the game he comes out and steals this one literally from the player and I have no idea how we did not get this one 86 minutes we could have made it 2-0 made um, the game a bit less dramatic towards the end because Casillas what a save this was I was really sweating bullets like honestly I was um, I really I was really nervous at the end of the match but we come out with a win 1-0 so another tight match but we end up getting the um, we end up getting the victory here well, as, a, as opposed to our last match where uh, we ended up uh, drawing but um, yeah, 1-0, we, we win this game, and Juventus gets four on Basel at home, so that meant that we were going to be in second place, but uh, me and Juventus are up on top of this group with three points. Um, and so we're going to play the third match here in this episode, and um, I think it's, what, the fourth game in Liga Nas? But um, I'll check right now, but um, so I was still looking at um, our players here. Um, um at Sané obviously uh man like I really want to get that player into our squad but I don't know if it's gonna happen probably not gonna happen this winter uh transfer window so um if anything it can be on the next um in the next summer when the season's over um one of the things that I really want to do um in this career mode is uh train players because um you know the, their attributes will will get better and their value will, will increase as well so I really want to get them training and obviously switch players every week and i'm gonna do it as much as i can um and just try to make them try to make them better so most players as you saw right there everybody passed even though i put um all the trainings um were in uh, hard uh hard difficult and uh, hard difficulty so i was glad that they all passed it um sometimes you'll give them easy uh training um drills and they'll get f's or d's and i just don't understand what they would they would get that if it's just that easy um but anyways we are here and we are gonna play this uh, third match of the episode and we're changing it up a little bit i think uh i was playing some players that haven't played so you know so that they could get some game time one of those players i believe was our um our youngster um i damn it i just uh lost uh, i just forgot his name right now but anyways um I'll, I'll remember it right now we get this nice chance right here it hits the post so what is it with all these shots going to the bar and to the post is it's kind of annoying that we can't get that uh we can't get a goal and especially when it hits the post is i just don't like it at all but we get another chance right here to score nothing corona with this nice shots but it gets deflected so we are not able to get this one but the uh, our opposing team is gonna come here and i think we were playing against the top team in the league right now so uh, i knew that it was gonna be a hard match we get this nice through ball and it is a goal 1-0 what a finish that was but the pass was even better and who else is gonna get that goal of course our boy our boy suarez is gonna get that one um and I feel like there's there's pretty good things that happen in this goal that I have to mention. Obviously, one is the pass, very nice through ball, and um, yeah, very nice through ball. The second thing, the finishing was awesome, but the third thing was I think Herrera um, actually made a run, which kind of took one of the defenders away from the play and distracted him you know because he had to go cover Herrera and that gave us a chance to go inside of the box so that that is one of the things that I really liked um, about this goal so we ended up winning the match yes we get those three points and we beat the best team in the league supposedly and um, I mean it was a really uh, it was a really hard game and Maritmo uh, did pretty good in the match so all three games like I said in the beginning were pretty hard i mean it was uh and i don't want to call it boring because we had a lot of chances but it was just one of those games that was very contested especially in the middle of the of the pitch and um i was just glad that i was able to get at least uh the two wins out of these three games and we did not lose any of the games so 
that's a pretty good balance again look at that 18 shots this time we had nine on target so yeah we just had a lot of chances but um for some reason we weren't able to put these in the back of the net and um but i'm just glad like i said that we got a couple of uh wins and that draw so how do we look in the league table let's go ahead and look at that this is 14 let's ball right now we're actually in first and then we are in second so we're basically at the top of the table we're just um second place because of the goal difference so um we've scored 14 uh conceded nine i think that is a lot of goals to concede especially in only yeah we played five games but i mean uh we just got to get better defense so thank you guys so much for watching for this episode if you guys enjoyed it please give it a like and i'll see you on the next one guys peace